All right, with this one we are, this is a geometric sequence, and what we're, what we're at here, the second term is 8, the fifth term is 64. So we are trying to find what the ninth term will be here. Well, this is one that's a little bit more complex, so let's start with some information that we know. The formula for an explicit geometric sequence is this one here. Okay, this is the first term in the sequence, this is a common ratio and then we can find our ends. We'll, we'll get into all of that a little bit here. Well, the problem is that we don't know what the first term is. Okay, We do know what the fifth term is, and we do know what the second term is. So we're going to play with these a little bit. There's going to be a relationship here that, you, that you, see, here that you see with this one and this one up here. Okay, We've got two ones here. We'll kind of show you what that is. So we do know what a, uh, the fifth term is. A sub 5, this is the fifth term. That's going to be 64. We'll get to that in a second. Well, we don't know what the first term is. But we do know what the second term is, a sub 2 here. So the second term, I can, I'm just going to write that one. And it lo looks like it's a little bit weird and maybe wrong because it's not our, our first term. So that means we're going to have to alter this exponent up here. Uh, the ratio we're not sure of, so that's just going to be r. And then it's going to be a 5 minus 2. This is the n value, so that remains the same. But instead of subtracting by 1, because this is the second term, I'm going to subtract by 2. Let's say, for instance, if I had one that uh, it was maybe the third term or something, then it would be a sub 3 here, and this number up here would be 3. It's kind of a little bit different way of doing it, but it will allow you to obtain your ratio, which is what we're looking for, the r value. Okay, so we know what a sub 5 is. a sub 5 is 64. a sub 2, we know that. a sub 2 is 8, so I'm going to plug that in. And we know, obviously, we can kind of start simplifying here. 5 minus 2, that's a very easy one. That's just 3. So now I know that 64 equals 8 times this r value cubed. I still don't know what r is yet, so I want to get r all by itself. So the way we do that is we're going to divide both sides by 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So now I know that r cubed is equal to 8. Well, the way that I get rid of this cubed is I can take the cube root of both sides. If I take the cube root of both sides, the cube root of 8 is just plain old 2. So now I know my r value, and this is very important. If I know my r value, I can just plug it in right here. I can go now and I can find, here's my original formula as well, I can find what a sub 1 is and then I can plug in 9. And that will work, okay? It's a little bit more work to find out what a sub 1 is. We can do that. It's a very similar process to um, one that we did here, but I want to show you a little bit of a shortcut. We're looking for a sub 9. This is the one that we don't know. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this 2 first of all and plug it right in here for where the r was. Now, I'm looking for a sub 9, so I'm just going to plug that in right here, a sub 9 equals. Now, I'm going to do the same process that I did over here, and this seemed a little bit weird, but after you do it a couple times, you'll kind of get used to it. I can choose either one of these. I can choose a sub 2 or I can choose a sub 5. It really doesn't matter. As long as if I choose a sub 2, then I need to have a 2 up here uh, in the exponent. If I choose a sub 5, I need to have a 5 up here. I chose a sub 5. So what I did now is I'm just going to start plugging in some stuff that I know. So a sub 5 here, notice how this is a 5 here, and again, if you wanted to do a sub 2, that would be fine too. Now we don't know a sub 9 yet, so we can't fill that one in, but we do know a sub 5. a sub 5 is 64. I'm going to write that down here. Okay, now I'm going to simplify. Now if you wanted to, technically speaking, you could just plug in what's on the right-hand side into your calculator, and that would spit out the answer, answer for you, and that would be nice. If you want to do it a little bit longer by hand, that's fine. 9 minus 5 is 4. Uh, 64 times... 2 to the 4th. Remember, using our order of operations, we have to do 2 to the 4th first. Well, 2 to the 4th is 16, and 64 times 16 is 1,024. So now we know our a sub 9, which is 1,024. It looks like it's a little bit weird process, only because we're not really using the 1. This is an a sub 1, and this is the 1. This is where the 1 is associated with. But we can use a sub 2 as long as we change this one to a 2, and that would work fine. And we're going to do that same process over here. You notice I used a sub 5 here, so I plug in 5 on this side. And that will work. A uh, little bit more practice on this, it won't be as bad.